men are drawn to it for the wrestling and then you know they somehow are sucked into watching real stories about women and these characters and women are sort of maybe put off by the wrestling <laughs> Congrats on everything. Thanks, man. Still able to squeeze in stand up? In the oh, yeah, every week. All I over just, the world. Uh, yeah, I just did a tour, yeah. I was in Europe for five dates awesome. Stockholm, Oslo, Amsterdam, London, and Dublin. How about you? Are you able to squeeze in some stand up? <laughs> <laughs> Stockholm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, nice. Thank you. I just managed to squeeze in watching Mark do stand up. Oh, that's right, you and Betty came. You're, yeah. you're impressed. You're like, I hope he's good. I know we were a little nervous. Yeah. And then we you were saw his act? Impressed. Betty and I went to see Mark do stand up at the yeah, comedy store. At the comedy store. It was great. And we got to see Ali Wong as well. Yeah. It was a really fun night. I but got, we to, were I got to see him two nights in a row recently, and both nights different. It was like oh, you good. were freestyling yeah. both times, different set. Where was it? We watched two sets in the same night, and I they know, were I both made, kind I of different. I had to make them different. <laughs> you made them different. And what do you retain? Do you remember any Mark Marin humor? Any comedy? <laughs> I mean, Anything sure, anecdotal? I remember it, but I wouldn't attempt a recreation. When did you see me? Where were you at? Well, it's going to date it a little bit, but oh. you look down and suddenly you realize that Dick Van Dyke, it's oh, the yeah. midnight show and Dick Van Dyke's that's in the front right, row. Right, wow. the comedy store, right? Yeah, that's Dick right. Dick Van Dyke, was like, he's like 90 and he's hanging out. At midnight? Yeah. He outlasted us. We yeah. had to fight. After you were done, and we kind of took off after you were offset. His wife's a real stand-up fan. Oh, okay. And I think his, his, his wife's brother might do stand-up, I think. Oh, well, wow. she's got good yeah, taste. Yeah, yeah. I, is it surreal for you two that we're here talking about the second season of this already? It's very exciting. It's great. There What's was, surreal is this weird hangar that we're yeah. in. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Hearing the, other voices all yeah, around yeah. us. Right. It's really like, part of the Netflix community. Yeah. <laughs> This interview situation, if you walk around, it's as though like an alien crash and they all of a sudden put up these partitions like they're doing an autopsy yeah. in here yeah. or something. And the people that they chose to take on Earth was just a bunch of uh, <laughs> entertainment journalists and a few actors. <laughs> what, what a sad, pathetic yeah. representation exactly. of humanity that would be. Is that what you're saying, Marin? No, I'm saying it's exactly the most appropriate representation <laughs> oh, okay. of what our wow. culture has to offer. All right. Well, you should like the likes of us because the likes of us, yeah, as well as I didn't, I wasn't making it negative. Yeah, it's true. Look at me, just <laughs> yeah. automatically making it negative. All of a sudden, making it therapy. Yeah. Uh, everybody loves this show. I mean, people that wouldn't even naturally gravitate towards this show once they've experienced it are digging it. They That's just, right. It's exciting. That's, yeah. That is the reaction. People it is. A lot are of adverse people are, at first, and, they're and like, then oh, surprised, right. pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I think because there's just something for everyone. So men are drawn to it for the wrestling, and then you know they somehow are sucked in to watching real stories about women and these characters and women are sort of maybe put off by the wrestling but right. then they learn but then there's so many women involved they can't help themselves but watch and then they enjoy it as well and it's as much about the wrestling as rocky really was about fighting it's more the heart of it in your yeah. character's journey yeah, yeah absolutely it really is um sort of just the venue it's like the impetus for these women to be able to empower themselves right you and I are of a certain age and ran yeah. in certain circles for a while. Sure. Don't you feel like you know Sam? Like, it, it wouldn't be hard to draw in this game. No, definitely I know Sam. Uh, yeah, of course. We, there's all, we all know Sam. Everybody knows that guy. <laughs> right? I mean, if you're a certain age, that's right. Francis McDormand, if I could drop a name, uh, came up to me at, uh, I think it was the SAG Awards yeah. and said, we all know that guy. <laughs> we all know that guy. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, we keep dropping names. Who Are you surprised at anyone else that's come out of the woodwork to say, oh, my God, I love Glow? Ooh, she was the bad. I feel like she hit all of us that night. That we all got back, to, got back to the table. Francis McDormand won the show. Because that means we won. It really does. <laughs> it really <laughs> does. None of us won anything that night, but Francis oh, McDormand man. knows us.